Splane updates Dakota to version 1.3.0. Welcome to Music Gears where we bring you the latest info on new music instruments, software, and other gear from around the world. Splane has updated Dakota to version 1.3.0. This update provides new native Apple Silicon M1 support. New, improved contrast in dark mode. New, now uses a proper installer application for Mac OS. New, on Mac OS, Dakota is now installed to slash applications slash splane slash Dakota. New, an uninstaller for Mac OS is now provided during installation. New, on Mac OS, support files and library are now placed at slash library slash application support slash splane slash Dakota. Data from previous Dakota versions will automatically be migrated to this new location on first run. Fixed, piano roll now remains aligned with keyboard when enabling playback with any size of chord bar selected. Fixed, it was possible to load new projects while the tutorial was running leading to a broken state in the app. Fixed, under special circumstances, it was possible for the Dakota Lay version to open in piano roll view. Known issues, at the time of this writing, IK Multimedia AmpliTube is not yet fully M1 compatible. Our tests have shown that only the AU version of AmpliTube will work in Dakota while running natively on an M1 Mac. Price, 49 euros. The update is free for all existing users. Please like this video if you found it helpful, and if you'd like to stay informed on the latest in music gear releases and limited time discount offers, please subscribe. Thanks for watching.